Hello! In this video, I'd like to begin my tutorial series, Solving the Time Independent Schrodinger Equation. And for lots of people, this is Quantum Mechanics 101, and it seems to me that sometimes people pull the solutions and write them down as though they came from thin air. So I'd like to show you where the solutions come from, and hopefully after the series you'll be comfortable enough to write down the solutions as though they seem to come from thin air also. The first thing I'd like to do is to talk about terminology. How do people refer to this equation? Well, the simplest, of course, is to use the acronym or all the first letters, and t that would be T-I-S-E, and I use that regularly because it's nice and neat. But sometimes people will refer to it as the energy eigenvalue equation. Now, what an eigenvalue equation is, is something I'll cover very shortly. So there are two different ways of referring to the same equation or you could call it the time-independent Schrodinger equation. By the way, it's time-independent as opposed to time-dependent. So here I've written the time-independent Schrodinger equation in two different ways. The first one is using Dirac notation and the second one is using wave function notation. Now please, don't get bogged down or hung up by the fact that I'm using Dirac notation. This is something we'll get used to you can look at my video on Dirac notation and get comfortable with it, but I firmly believe that you need to introduce this early on and get comfortable with it. So, what does the time independent Schrodinger equation look like? Well, the first thing to note is that we have a H symbol here, which stands for the Hamiltonian. And the fact that it's got a hat on it tells you it's an operator. Just like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division are operators or instructions, the Hamiltonian operator is an instruction to calculate the energy of the system. Well, what system are we calculating the energy of? Well, the system is going to be represented by a ket, and this, this symbol is here is referred to as a ket, or the wave function, and they both represent the same system. So the Hamiltonian could operate or act on the ket, or it could act on the wave function and calculate the energy of the system, and it's going to be E sub n or E is the energy of the system. But if you look closely, the Hamiltonian is acting on your ket and it's giving back the same ket but with a multiplicative constant. Alternatively, the Hamiltonian is acting on the wave function and it's giving back the same wave function but with a multiplicative constant. Now, of course, the multiplicative constant is going to be the energy of your system. But any equation that has this particular behavior is known as an eigenvalue equation. These sorts of equations have special properties. They make the time independent Schrodinger equation very easy to use, in fact. And the eigenvalue, the actual eigenvalue for this particular equation, of course, is going to be the energy of your system. So in an eigenvalue equation, you act or operate on a function and you get back or a returned an unchanged function with the exception of the multiplicative constant known as the eigenvalue. In this case, because we're using the Hamiltonian energy operator, we get back the energy eigenvalue. So the language or terminology here is the eigenvalue is of the operator. So it's the eigenvalue of the Hamiltonian operator. And the wave function is going to be the eigenfunction of the Hamiltonian operator. We always refer back to the operator. Now the ket here, slightly different terminology, but very similar. So it's going to be the ket of the Hamiltonian operator, or the eigenket, or the eigenstate, or even eigenvector. In lots of ways, these are all synonyms. So please don't get bogged down on them. You'll hear eigenfunction, eigenvector, eigenstate, eigenket. But basically we're talking about a way of representing your system in either a function or a ket like this, which is kind of an abstract vector. But we'll talk about those later.